Hey guys, welcome to my design series where I take an email I find in my inbox and transform it. I am super excited for this one. It came out so good and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. Of course, if you're interested in learning how to design emails just like this, make sure to check the link in the description to my email design course. All right, let's jump right into it. So first things first, let's analyze the email that I got. So it's a restock email and Waterboy the brand is just so darn fun. Like great little caricature, great colors, really bright. There's so much you can do with this. And this email here was really short and sweet. It just said shop now, restocked. And then there's some CTAs at the bottom for the different varieties that they have, but I feel like we can level this one up a bit more. I think adding in a bit more explanation of why the lemon ginger is such an awesome flavor to have and also the benefits of weekend recovery. These hydration, powder, little to-go things, like what could we describe about those? And also maybe lemon ginger isn't their vibe. They wanna try some other flavors. So maybe we'll add in a section at the bottom that details the other flavors as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a new frame, which is gonna be our new email here. This is gonna be 600 pixel width. And we'll go ahead and work on our first section. So I think first things first, let's go ahead and outline the different sections that we plan to have. Now, I really like the top section that they have. They have this like yellowish color, but also there's these little shadows of ginger behind it, which I think are is super cute. I'm gonna do a spin on that but I'm gonna go ahead and add in this yellow background because I think I definitely wanna keep that element to it. And if you look on their website, let's actually head on over there because there's so much fun details over on the website itself. Here you can get a bit of a feel for the product page. There's some great information, some great copy that I plan to bring in. We have these fun characters that I think are just so great and have to get those into email. One thing I'm noticing though, you can see this like wave happening here. I definitely want to carry that over into the design. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate a similar wave of my own. So honestly, the best way to do this is I'm going to do a screenshot and pull this over into my design so that I can trace it. So this is a great way to use the pen tool to get a similar look that you're getting through other assets. And I'm sure for their own brand, they actually have this wave as a to-go file. But since I don't and I'm working from scratch here, I'm gonna make my own. So over on the pin tool, I'm just gonna zoom in. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see, but basically going to trace along the kind of uh, highs and lows of this wave here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sure if we had the actual asset, we can make it look even better, but just as is totally fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my little curvature tool here and click all of these points, curving them into a wave. Then I'm thinking we carry with this bluish color for the rest of it. So I'm going to remove the stroke from this, add in a fill, and I'm going to do this kind of bluish color here that's on the packaging. And let's go ahead and delete our reference there. And then you have this kind of funky shape, but give it a second if you put it in. There we go. I know you're still like, wait, it looks funky and uh, it's fine. We'll come over here and let's go ahead and drop in this color. And there we go. So now we have our wave. We're creating a similar look that's actually on the product. And this will be our secondary section where we'll have some more details. But I think our main announcement here is gonna be front and center. So one thing we need to go ahead and jump in and put in is this water boy product package. So let me go ahead and grab that pasting that in. And then of course, with the yellow that's going on here, it's definitely a little harder to see the packaging at the bottom. I honestly really like that seamless look though, but let's add in a bit of a shadow here. So I'm gonna grab our circle tool, throw this behind, and we're gonna do a layer blur and let's drop it behind the product. Whoops, that's the wrong vector. There we go. We have our layer blur here. Actually, let's go ahead and drop this. We definitely wanna drop opacity down to 30%. And then we're gonna layer blur this. Maybe not that much. Shrink this down a bit. And we're just playing with the placement. Honestly, it doesn't have to be super perfect here. We just wanna add a little bit of something. Let's shrink it down a bit. And maybe mess with our blur a bit more. Might drop the opacity a tad more as well. And we'll pull that right there. Okay, a little bit of a nice kind of shadow piece there with it. Okay, 
Next, let's go ahead and drop in our logo. All right, we got our logo in. Let's go ahead and extend this up just a tad more to give us some space. The next thing I wanna do is do a similar vibe to this restocked, but I don't think we're gonna go as circular as that one is. So the trick around getting your kind of text to be rounded like that, we're gonna grab a circle tool and let that be our guideline. And imagine your text is following this circle. So let's go ahead and add in a stroke like so. And then let's go ahead and add in our text. So we're doing restock. And I think we can go with that darker blue, honestly, to match the logo. And this one's in bold. We'll make this a lot larger. Restocked. Just something like that. And then I'm going to hold down shift and grab the circle. I'm going to come over into my plugins up here. And there's a plugins called to path. So we're going to to path that, which means that it's basically going to follow the path of that circle. We're gonna link them together. So we have our path and then this, we're just gonna hide, but then we have our circle here and we're gonna hide the outline so that we just have this here. And we're gonna turn this around and restart. This might be a little off to the center. Actually, no, it's not too bad. Okay, go like that, pull this up and pull this up, make sure this is nice and centered up. Might play with it just a tad more with some of the roundness there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add in lemon ginger underneath that. Perfect, we're just lining these up. And I think what can be beneficial right here is a little bit of a extra line of copy that helps to really sell the product itself. So I'm just gonna copy this, throw this down, and let's go down to maybe 30. We're gonna make this regular. Remove that and pull that up. Go and make sure that this is nice and centered here. Let's actually recenter up everything in our logo as well. And with our little extra copy here, I think playing on the fact that this is a ginger drink, ginger has a bit of a zing to it. So I think for our lead-in copy, I'm gonna say crush your hangovers with a zing. And we'll center that up and it's a tad large. I'm actually gonna pull this down a bit more, maybe 27, maybe even a little bit smaller. Whoops, 25, crush your hangovers with a zing. Actually, let's go ahead and simplify it. Let's just do crush hangovers with a zing. That's why it's not as long and it's a little bit easier to read as well. Okay, so we have our feature here, which I'm digging. I think we definitely need a button. So let's pull this down here, and I think we can mimic the similar button style they already have. So I'm gonna drop in a rectangle. Let's go ahead and circle this up. We're gonna make it dark blue and center it, and then let's pull this over, and we'll make the text white. Probably will stand out the best. And we'll do get hydrated as our CTA here. And then the one thing I like to do is mimic something similar to what they have here, where you have like ginger sprinkled in behind it. It adds like an extra layer of dimension, which is like huge. I love doing that with emails. So let's see if we can find something probably free on Canva that we can get plugged in the background. Okay, so I found this icon here. It's gonna work. It's a little weird. I don't know, ginger and then a lemon. It's fine. <laughs> it's close enough. So I think I'm just gonna create a little pattern similar to how they have, maybe not as big, but we're gonna sprinkle it in. We're gonna drop this though to like 20% opacity. We want it to be an accent, right? We don't want it to take over the whole design. Let's sprinkle this in behind the products and such. Actually, let's pull it all the way down. That way we can see it giving there. Perfect. I'm just creating a little kind of repeatable pattern. Don't need to worry too much about making sure it's completely perfect. Let's make sure both of these are inside. Copy that right there. And maybe one right there. And let's do a little one right here where it's hanging off. Perfect, so we have our little ginger lemons hanging out in the background. It just adds some depth, right? It just adds a little bit of something extra. If anything, I might cut this one because I don't like it going over the text too much. But ah, we'll leave it for now, just to keep it even. But that one might have to go. Okay, I think next, we have our top section here. We have restocked lemon ginger crush hangovers with a zing. 
Now let's get into like why they should like the ginger lemon. Maybe there's something special with it. So I think what we could do for sure is bring down this title section. So we're gonna do TBD here. Let's drop this stroke that I had applied and maybe bring down the sizing to about 47. And then same thing, I think a subtitle is always good here. Then let's go ahead and expand the rest of our message here, just so we have enough room. So I think for sure we could work off of kind of these rounded edges and build something similar to what I did in the Lemmy email makeover, which if you haven't seen, go check out. I think we could drop in a rounded section like this. You know what, for now, let's make it white so it really pops in the middle. And then let's come in with, let's see, we can control C, control V. I'm gonna pull this in, I'm gonna hold down option. I know it's gonna be a bit hard to see with it being white on white, but I know I, I'm envisioning what's gonna go here. And then let's get a lifestyle image masked into this shape right here. So I have this gal here. I think she's totally drinking a different flavor than what is in the email but it's fine, it's fine. So um, I'm holding onto the shape behind it and then holding down shift and holding the other, I'm going to mask it into that shape like so. And then the one thing though is I want to expand this so that we have a little bit of a border going around this shape here. Perfect. Let's actually reshape it up just a tad more because I want this to be super clean and there we go. Okay, cool. And then let's go ahead and add in some text on the side that I found on the website, which I think is gonna be this piece here. Let's go back to the product, lemon ginger, this part right here. Cause this has some good stuff with ginger extract to aid with digestion. And it's just some fun copy that I think would really speak well inside of the email. So I'm gonna get that added in now. Okay, so I have my text, but we need to expand things quite a bit. So I'm holding down those two and we're just gonna move this down so that everything, and the great thing about Figma is that this is, you saw how it was like adapting, it was changing the alignment super cleanly. I just love that about Figma, it makes things so easy. And then we're just gonna make sure that this is really lined up. This needs to be a tad longer actually. So we're gonna move that like that, make sure it's still center. Okay, I like it. You know what could be super fun though, is adding in that character here. That could be the lead into this next section to make you really wanna scroll down. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this down just a tad and add in that little character of the little hydration droplet here. All right, I got him pasted in. And then that transition look just, I love it when things overlay like that. I think the transition just makes it look super cool. Okay, let's go like this, move this down just a tad more to give him some room and Pull it down just a bit. Okay, perfect. I love it. Move that a bit more center. Perfect. And I think changing this font to white maybe will make it stand out a little bit better. Yeah, I like that better. Adding in some copy here. This was on their website as well. We've got you recovered. And this last line of time to start hydrating responsibly, dehydrating responsibly. So it's a nice little play on words. It's cute. Love it. I'm then bringing in another different character they had on the page here on the bottom. Again, is another transition. I think it's just super cute. Let's line this character up really well. Let's pull them in here. There we go. Center that up. Actually, I think the not quite center. There we go. All right, we've got some text. Make sure your happy hour doesn't ruin the next 24. Love that. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and extend this down a tad more. And I think this is where we could showcase the other products. So using the shape tool, I'm gonna to come in and do a similar vibe to what we had above. So I'm going to round the corners here. Maybe make that a big bit larger. And we got our two sections. Let's center this up and that. And this could be where we display our other flavors. And I think for sure adding in another call to action at the bottom as that last piece to get someone to go forward. We'll pull this up so it's a bit with the padding there. And then I'm gonna add in each of the product images and their titles, All right? Just centering these ones just a tad more. And I think instead of this call to action we have at the top, we'll do choose your flavor. Perfect. And we're gonna center that up, maybe make the button just a tad longer there. 
and we are all set here. So let me know what you guys think. We have the original email here. Over here, we have our new designed one. Let's go ahead and press play actually and just see it in its full glory. So we have our restocked lemon ginger with our little icons in the background. We then have our little hydration guy, which I really need this hydration guy, but that's fine. We have our little icon here. And we've got you recovered, time to start hydrating responsibly. So we got our little info here. We have a great in-use image, which I think really elevates it. You don't want too much of just product and then iconography. So we have it actually in use, which is cute. Great copy that they already had on their website. Our little icon again, and then make sure your happy hour doesn't ruin the next 24. And then of course my little product area is not inside my email, which happens. So let me pull these guys down and pull them into my frame. There we go. And then our last section is where we can then see the other flavors. Make sure your happy hour doesn't ruin the next 24. Blue raspberry, fruit punch, lemon lime, strawberry lemonade, choose your flavor. Guys, this is the final email. What do you think? <laughs> This was a really fun one. I really like this use of the characters. It's just like my favorite. I love when a brand has characters like this. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this email transformation. Like I said, if you wanna to learn to design emails just like this, check out my email design course where I show you how to do everything like this in much more detail. And if you're looking to get access to one of my free email templates, make sure to check out my newsletter and subscribe. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the inbox. Bye.